In Miami, an exhibition of works by Ukrainian artists has gained new significance with the Russian invasion. It's a show mounted by the Volashin Gallery, which is based in Kyiv. The war has left the Ukrainian gallery owners, Max and Julia Volashin stranded in the U.S. and unsure when they'll be able to return home. They're a young married couple, with a baby. They came to Miami from Kyiv five months ago to present work during Miami's International Art Basel Week. After that, they mounted a pop-up show in a Miami warehouse district. It's a far cry from the gallery the Volashin's own in Kyiv. Julia Volashina says the gallery is in the basement of a historic building near the city center. They opened it in 2016. With the war, she says, we cannot operate anymore. And our gallery now is a bunker. The gallery staff and some of the Volashian's artist friends are staying there at night, using it as a bomb shelter. As of a few days ago, she said they told her the bombs and missile attacks hadn't targeted that area yet. It's quiet in the city center, she says. But they're scared as well. As they watch for news from home, Julia and Max are exhibiting the work of five Ukrainian artists, featuring painting, sculpture and multimedia pieces, some of which now seem eerily connected to the fighting and missile strikes in the news. A work by Nikita Kaden depicts the remains of a crumbling high-rise building. Max Volashin says, it was destroyed by artillery in 2015 in the Donbas region, in Ukraine. It's a photograph printed on silk, draped over a black metal and resin frame. Volashin says Kaden is one of those who's currently staying in the gallery in Kyiv. For the Volashins, it is understandably stressful now. After Art Basel, both Max and Julia contracted COVID. They decided to stay in Miami a little longer. Then came the invasion, leaving them uncertain when it would be safe or practical to return home. Max says they worry about their families and friends. My friend Igor was at the opening of this show in Miami, three weeks ago. Max takes out his phone to show a photo of his friend, smiling, wearing a flak vest and carrying a Kalashnikov-style rifle. It's crazy, he says. Just three weeks ago, he was in Miami. Julia and Max Veloshin opened their first gallery 15 years ago when they were both students. For this show and others, they've worked with Miami-based curator Omar Lopez Shahoud. Lopez Shahoud says plans were underway for another show later this year in Kyiv. That no longer seems possible. He says, at least we managed to showcase these artists. And their work is so much connected to the current situation. Another piece in the show, by artist Alexei Sai has a special resonance now. 